Tucker's been clinically dead for at least four and a half minutes. He has one chance left. A man's found floating, lifeless in the surf. His name is Takahiro Ono, an English language student from Tokyo. No one knows what's happened to him or how long he's been in the water. Riley Mo, Riley Mo, no. Someone go and get on the uh, radio. There's a radio on my bike and call for the deep fit. Yeah. Check costs. Hang on. Hoppo can't detect a pulse. Bagging, come on. He's not breathing. Bagging, come on, come on. Bagging. Tucker is clinically dead. You grab the mask. The boys must get his heart beating again and air into his lungs. It's a male, about 20 years old. Uh, they got him on the bag now. I'll get back to you with more info. Everyone? I can't really feel that. Danny arrives with a defibrillator as Corey starts CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tucker still has no pulse. Stand clear, stand clear. 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 Check pulse. If no pulse, give CPR. Check pulse. If no pulse, give CPR. I can't get one. Start CPR. The deep fib doesn't work on Tucker first time. The machine needs time to recharge. Corey continues CPR. 11, 12. The ambulance has been called. Paramedics are on the way. Just if you need anything else, give us the L. Yeah, copy that, Chapo. 12, 13, 14, 15. It's four minutes since lifeguards got to Tucker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The machine needs time to establish whether he has any heart rhythm. Stand clear. Stand clear, Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Tucker's had two shocks. He's in spasm. Patients rarely survive if they need more than three shocks. Tucker's been clinically dead for at least four and a half minutes. He has one chance left. I've lost it. Stand clear. Stand clear. Stand clear. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. The third shock has finally had an effect. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. I won't shock again. Still staying here. Stay clear. Stay clear. Analyzing rhythm. Rhythm, yeah. It's all right, mate. It's all right. There's no pulse. Give CPR. Got a pulse. It's breathing, mate. It's getting stronger. Take a good pulse. Take a good pulse here. He's been in the water, and you swallowed a lot of water, okay? Stay. Just relax, mate. Just relax. We're looking after you, okay? Understand? He's got a strong heartbeat now, strong heart. Just, just keep your head there, mate. It's okay. Just giving you some oxygen. It's okay, it's right, okay. It's alright, buddy. It's okay, mate. Just relax. Just take it easy. Good work, boys. All of his eight. Good work. Try deep breaths, mate. Okay? As they wait for an ambulance, lifeguards try and piece together the events that almost killed Tucker. What what happened to him? No, I, I, I love to swim in the water. And you just kind of floating, all right? Yeah. No one knows how long Tucker was clinically dead in the water. But for five minutes, the lifeguards kept him alive on the sand. Despite the trauma of a major medical emergency, Tucker knows who and where he is. What's your name? Takahiro. Takahiro, is it? Yeah. I know we are. Tucker? Yeah. Where are you? 
Bondi. Where? Bondi. Oh, Bondi. A shot of Maxilon will help stabilise Tucker. Lifeguards and paramedics brace him on a spinal board. One, two, three, roll. They're concerned Tucker may also be suffering a spinal injury. Perhaps he was violently knocked out in the surf. Was it, was it immersion related or...? We think so. He was found at the edge Can of the water. Can you feel me clutching your elbow? So you pulled him out of the water. Yeah. Have you used it on an arrest before? Oh, yes. Yeah, so we had 12 last year. Did you? Yeah. Oh, they're unreal, these things. Unbelievable. Oh, it's, it's got to have someone behind it, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you blasted it all right? Tucker's alive, but the drama's far from over. How did he end up floating lifeless in the water? Has he damaged his spine? Will he suffer any brain damage from lack of oxygen? You happy to go on your own or do you want to... Yeah, we'll be right there. See you later. Thanks, well mate. done, you Thanks. saved his life. You're yeah. great, you blokes. Thanks, Tucker's not out of danger yet. Tucker's vital signs are healthy. Now emergency doctors need to find out what caused his heart to stop beating. Okay, so you're going to feel a sharp scratch in a minute, OK? Do you remember what happened in the surf? Maybe. Tucker will soon learn he's got a long-term medical problem to deal with. Swedish tourist Isabella was the first to find him lying in just a foot or two of water. Yeah, I, saw a guy was like, I thought he was joking or just swimming, swinging around because he was like, mm -hmm. but then he was like turning around and also his eyes, he was like yeah. wide open. It was, then I thought, shit, so I was like, are you okay? Can I pull him up? He didn't answer, so, and his head was... Very well. He did a good, he did a good job. But he was dead. He was, yeah, he was dead, yeah. He was dead. He was dead. <laughs> they, they deep him shot three times. We had to shock him three times. To get the heart going again. Yeah. It's, uh, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. good job. Thank you. At St Vincent's emergency, Tucker's still in a critical condition. Doctors have yet to work out exactly what happened to him. He was just trying to tell me something then. This time he actually felt that when he was standing, he started to get a bit dizzy. In the surf? Surfing, oh. did Before, when he was swimming, he started to get dizzy. He hasn't had any cardiac problem in the past, but he has had some um, arrhythmia in the past. He has been told that he has. Until now, everyone thought Taka had drowned. But a childhood heart condition could be a factor. At school, that when he actually had that um, generalised annual physical checkup, yeah, 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 they then said he it had. was picked up. Oh. But he never was symptomatic. Oh, OK. Um, so I don't think that you've swallowed too much water. No, I don't think you were close to no, drowning. Yeah, he needs to stay in hospital because his heart went into a, into a funny rhythm. Oh, OK. OK, so the cardiologist will need to look after him. But we're concerned that he may have had a problem with his heart. He's only 26, but Tucker may have suffered a heart attack in the water and could suffer another at any time. Tucker's in a stable condition, but tests confirm he has a serious heart problem. Tachy's had a cardiac arrest caused by something we call ventricular ta tachycardia, or the specific type is um, Toussaint de Point. It's a, a type of um, cardiac arrest that you can get with underlying heart problems. There's no obvious cause for the minute, so it's maybe it's something that's been with him for a long time. Hold your breath in, that's it. Hold on, no worries. Tucker's about to undergo surgery. A defibrillator fitted inside his chest will automatically regulate his heart to prevent another arrest. For the moment, he's still having trouble breathing. <laughs> it's too difficult. Is it? Yeah, but... When Tucker came to Australia to study English, he never imagined a swim at Bondi would end up in heart surgery. The lifeguards who brought Tucker back to life have come to visit after surgeons implanted a defibrillator in his chest. When I swam, I felt getting worse. So I, I thought I had to go back the well, shore. She real, yeah. So you did realise something was wrong? Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing for us, like, seeing someone dead and then five minutes later you're telling us what beach you're at. It's, it's amazing. If you had to pick a place to suffer a heart attack, Bondi Beach is an ideal choice. 
best place it could have been would have been the, the front door of the hospital, but um, if there was a second place, it would be the, the beach with the lifeguards around and the defibrillator nearby. Um, it saved his life. Well, last night, you kind of, I was at home and you're sort of thinking, you know, hopefully it all went right and everything was everything worked and to see him today and see him like he it is, it's, it's amazing. Tucker's English is unclear, but his feeling <laughs> for the lifeguards isn't. I can't explain, but mm, like a god, yeah, so Andrew, <laughs> yeah, Superman, superhero, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you sitting up and having a chat. No worries. Take care, buddy, and have a, enjoy the rest of your stay. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming well, mate.